was gonna actually do like the whole EP right now, but I feel like nah. I'm gonna do that when I get to the Vaughn Feel me? You won't you see this, but I'm gonna just upload this as like a regular vlog, like let's talk about it type of. And uh, what we're talking about today is just consistency and experiences you go through. You feel me? Because me personally, I don't believe in this, oh, this is negative, this is positive. Everything is just an experience. Everything is an opportunity for you to either move closer or further from your goal. There's no standing still, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of people, like if you look at the icons that are popular right now, that mainstream icons, you feel me? Like A Boogie, uh, Cardi B, Kai. Um, I'm, I'm naming a lot of people from the Bronx because it's, I can relate to that, you feel me? And each of them, you can see aspects of the journey where, where it could be painted as a negative, and if they'd allow themselves to believe that, they wouldn't be where they were. You feel me? Cardi B was her, her dancing, or better, her, her upbringing, her upbringing, and like how that is perceived in certain communities. You feel me? It doesn't matter. Like I feel like no matter what happens, there's always something, right? There, there, there's always boom. We have an event, right? There's people that are positive in, in, in regards to that event. Like we'll talk about it positively. There's people that will talk about it negatively, and there's people that don't. You feel me? And it's all about who you pay attention to to allow yourself. To, 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 you feel me, to shape your own vision of yourself. Does that make sense? It's more like Cody B's upbringing, you feel me? A Boogie, you know, he had his man's have passed away, you feel me? A lot of people lose close friends, close family members, close whatever the case may be, and that is a, 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 a traumatic event for them. And that affects them. If they were going their head, they lose somebody, and now they're off track. They're just trying to figure out how to mourn, and you know they, they can't get past that. Shout out to him for finding that motivation within that. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? I can relate. Like I was one of my best friends. Like that shit is crazy. But if you understand, like that shit was there for nothing. Like I'm not gonna say that whole that whole life is just. No, no. It's like yo, listen. That's my motivation because hey, bro, I'm gonna do that for you and. You know what I'm saying? Then we got like Kai, like not a, I, I don't know too much about his upbringing, like as far as like his his, his initial ground, but what may what that clip that made him go viral, like he doing push ups or whatever in that rap room, but like niggas would see that and they know they about to get flamed. You feel me? And they would beat themselves up more than the public would, and they gotta probably stop streaming, try to like get rid of that, or or, or just fall under the pressure of that. Nah, like. He kept going, that consistency, I could, anybody, this comment, like, tell me if there's anybody who has not been consistent in this successful, that doesn't even make sense, you feel me? A lot of people are not consistent because they don't believe in themselves, like, bro, if you won't invest in yourself and better in yourself, how can you lose? You are responsible for the outcome of that event, and that's why what happens along the way doesn't matter. It's only when something happens and you stop. Now we can define your journey. Like, damn, yo, you started here. This happened. You kept going. This happened. You kept going. And then this happened. You stopped. Damn, you fell. As long as you keep going, you did not fail. You get what I'm saying? It does not matter what happened. You get what I'm saying? It's just these are opportunities for you to move closer or further from where you're going. And it's that simple. Like, we going as these videos progress and I put up more of these, you're going to see, like, I probably talk about a little more of my life and shit like that, but one thing I will say is that anybody from the fucking Bronx can relate to this. Anybody from the Bronx can relate to this. There are two types of people besides the crackheads. There's people who are complacent and accept their situation, and there's people who understand their situation and they want more for themselves, and therefore people around them. So they're gonna take any means necessary to make sure they get better for themselves because they know better. We all been in the back of that bus, front of the bus, pissy ass trains, this, that, and the third, understanding like, nah, this ain't not going to be me for the rest of my life. And as long as you stick to that and get dedicated to that, it does not matter what happened. Be consistent and you will succeed. Is that it? Because you're betting on yourself. It's the best bet in the world. You feel me? Y'all over here scratching a lot of tickets. Bet on yourself. You will not fail. Consistent doesn't matter. Right now I'm talking to nobody. 